Hi, I'm Mark Chandler with Mark's Custom Airbrush here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today we're here to talk about airbrushing and the items that are needed to airbrush. First of all, you need an airbrush to start. And what an airbrush is, is a small spray gun that actually pulls paint through the siphon tube that's actually able to be uh, regulated with the trigger. And what you do is you pull back for a lot of uh, fluid and you actually just push down and pull back very little for detailed artwork. We're also going to need an air source. In this case, I use a CO2 tank with a regulator attached to it. It's very easy to maneuver and it's very portable to use. So also it's available when there's no electric. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you some of the uh, <clears throat> things that you can do with an airbrush. And today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate on how to do a simple beach scene. First of all, we're going to start with some black here and create a dune line. Then we're going to put some sea oats on the side here. Come over here and do the same thing. Next, we're going to change and go to blue for our water line. Next, I'm going to create a sun using one of my paint bottles here as a stencil. Add some step clouds. What's a beach scene without a palm tree? So we need to add our palm tree here. Put in a little pink here. Add some pink step clouds. Do an airbrush wash here. And of course we can't forget about our seagulls. And that's a simple beach scene that we can do with the airbrush.